Hi, I'm Dan Lear, America's Coach, and today's success track is focused on leadership. You know, leadership is a word that many associate to a business leader, a CEO, or a corporate executive, all of which are true. Yet leadership applies to each and every one of us. Some of you are CEOs, business executives, or sales managers. Yet others of you are leaders of your sales team, your family, or your organization. You're a father, a mother, a brother, a sister, or maybe you're a youth sports coach. You're all leaders. And all of us are leaders and have the capacity and responsibility to shape the lives of those around us. So what is the definition of a leader anyway? During my leadership training, there are many what I call layered strategies to becoming an effective leader. Yet for this short video, I'm going to share with you three quick ideas on how you can become a more effective leader right now. Strategy number one is simply doing the things you say you're going to do. For instance, if you say you're going to have the project done on Friday, then it's going to be done on Friday. No excuses, just results. If you say you're going to start the meeting at 9 o'clock, you're there at 8.30 because when you're early, you're never late. Just do what you say you're going to do. As a leader, you set the standard. If you say the meeting's going to start at 9 o'clock in the morning and you stroll in at 10 after 9, <laughs> you send a message to the people in your organization or even your family that you really don't mean what you say. And that can be damaging when you're looking to create results. Secondly, doing the things that you're teaching your people to do. Walk your talk. That's it. Walk your talk. Practice what you preach. When a person in a leadership position talks about doing things the right way, yet doesn't do the same thing him or herself, sorry, you just lost your status as a leader. And that holds true in business and as a parent. Lastly is honesty. The great leaders that have shaped my life always possess the ability to be honest in regards to providing feedback for growth or owning up to their own mistakes. If you have someone in your organization or your family that's not playing up to their potential, or maybe they're taking shortcuts or not pulling their weight, you owe it to them to call them on their shortcomings, in the appropriate manner, of course, with the intent of providing them an opportunity for improvement. Great leaders cause people to raise their standards by demanding the best from everyone and accepting responsibility when they make a mistake. Because, see, mistakes happen every day, and they're made by everyone. And owning up to those mistakes and correcting them is the characteristic of a leader. So, in review, the three quick strategies for leadership are, number one, do what you say you're going to do. Number two, walk your talk. Practice what you preach. And number three is honesty. Being honest with the people about their performance or behavior and owning up to your own mistakes. My name is Dan Lear, America's Coach, and let's start today being the leader we all can be.